the Princess of Wales has sent you a message of support to the England women's rugby union side ahead of the World Cup in New Zealand, saying she will be cheering you on all the way. In a video released online, the princess, dressed in a red blazer with a rose brooch pinned to her lapel, said she will be setting her alarm clock early so she can watch the Red Roses aim to win their second World Cup in eight years. England women's head into the tournament as one of the favorites, carrying a 25-game winning streak. The Princess of Wales said, Hello everyone. I wanted to take a moment to wish the Red Roses all the very best of luck for the Rugby World Cup in New Zealand. I had so much fun with you all at Twickenham earlier this year and I cannot wait to see how you get on during the tournament. For many in the team, this will be the first World Cup that you have played in. Congratulations on being selected for the squad. I know this will be a particularly proud moment in your career so far and I hope you enjoy every minute. I was also delighted to hear that some of the winning squad from 2014 are back to help bring the cup home again. Good luck for the weeks ahead. I will be setting my alarm clock early to cheer you on all the way. The Princess of Wales sends good luck wishes to the Red Roses ahead of the World Cup, image, Twitter. Kate runs with the ball during a visit to Twickenham, image, Getty, the Princess of Wales adopted the role of patron of England rugby earlier this year. She inherited the title from her brother-in-law Prince Harry, who stepped down as a senior royal two years ago. In the video sent to the Red Roses, which was posted by England Rugby, the princess recycled the red blazer she wore while supporting the England football team at the Euros last year. She was spotted at the final at Wembley wearing the blazer alongside her husband Prince William and their son Prince George. Read more, Princess of Wales delights fans after doubling back to greet baby, video, Red Roses give a line out with Kate at Twickenham, image, Getty, in her message to the Red Roses, she recalled a trip she made to Twickenham in February this year when she met the players. She was pictured laughing on the pitch, talking to the likes of England head coach Eddie Jones and Mero Itoje. The honorary Red Rose even practiced a line-out and was pictured being raised up by her team to catch the ball. It is not yet known whether the princess will travel to New Zealand for any of the fixtures or if the team advance into the later stages. Don't miss, Princess Kate was grace personified, says Arlene Foster, opinion, Kate and William think knee after visit despite princess being heckled, report. Kate Middleton and Prince William triumph on Northern Ireland visit, reveal, England's Claudia Macdonald in action during the women's rugby international against Wales, image, Getty, trending England head into the tournament, which has been delayed by a year due to the pandemic, as favourites following a remarkable run of form. A Helena Rowland hat-trick helped England to a 73-7 win over Wales at Ashton Gate three weeks ago and ensure a record 25 matches won in a row. The last time they lost a game was in March 2018 during the Six Nations, they lost by just one point to France. The tournament, which kicks off tomorrow, will run until Saturday 12th of November, with the Red Roses set to play their first fixture against Fiji at 04. 45 AM UK time tomorrow. Read next, Kate Middleton isn't actively friendly to Meghan Markle Kate praised by royal fans for perfectly handling heckler it's so cold Kate warms crowd with her smile and Belfast Kate sparks fans in a frenzy as Princess Coos over two-month-old new Fab Four star power questioned, 